गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स अगेन आई एम हेयर टू एक्सप्लेन यू नेक्स्ट सिस्टम ऑफ फ्रॉग वीनस सिस्टम ऑफ फ्रॉग दैट यू ऑल नो ऑल द वेन्स प्रेजेंट इन आर बॉडी दे मेक्स अप आर वीनस सिस्टम एंड वेन्स आर सेट टू बी कलेक्टिंग चैनल्स ऑफ बॉडी वाई कलेक्टिंग चैनल्स बिकॉज दे कलेक्ट ब्लड फ्रॉम वेरियस बॉडी पार्ट्स एंड सप्लाई टू हार्ट ओके नाउ इफ आई से वीनस सिस्टम ऑफ फ्रॉग consisting of three components it is made up of three systems further the first one system of vena cavae then there is a system called portal systems and third one there is pulmonary system okay so system of vena cavae portal systems and pulmonary systems together makes up vena system of frog let me tell you there are three vena cavae in frog's body there are two precavals we also call them anterior vena cavae and one post caval which is said to be as posterior vena cava so three uh, vena cavae are there two precaval and one post caval and they all open into sinus venosus sinus venosus is the chamber accessory chamber of heart which receive all the deoxygenated blood from the entire body part and supply it to right auricle already you know so three components are there vena cavae portal systems and pulmonary system now let's describe these one by one now this is another diagram you can see the complete view of vena system of frog where the blue colored indicates blue colored vessels they are precaval the big black one is post caval and red and pink color these are portal systems of frog okay now let's explain them one by one as i told you the very first one system of vena cavae there are three vena cavae two precaval or anterior vena cava right and left and one post caval precavals which are right and left they receive blood from upper body parts and just you see in the picture each precaval consists of three branches receiving three, three branches further an external jugular an innominate vein and a subclavian vein just you see external jugular is receiving blood from head region of frog it is made up of two branches lingual and mandibular lingua word comes for tongue so lingual vein is collecting blood from tongue region and hypoglossal muscle mandibular as the name indicate lower jaw so mandibular vein is collecting blood from lower jaw so this is external jugular now see second one innominate vein innominate vein just you see further made up of internal jugular and subcapsular okay internal jugular again it collects blood from head region from the brain region of frog and subcapsular vein collect blood from shoulder and back of arm getting it so innominate one is receiving blood from brain and eyes through internal jugular and from shoulder region through subcapsular vein now see third one subclavian vein subclavian vein is receiving blood from fore limb through a branch called brachial branch okay so brachial branch of subclavian collects blood from fore limb and see one more musculocutaneous musculocutaneous it is collecting blood from muscles and skin as the name indicate musculo means from the muscle and cutaneous means from the skin so it is collecting blood from skin and muscles of dorsal and lateral sides of abdomen from muscles of head also got it so two precavals are there right and left each precaval further made up of an external jugular branch an innominate branch and a subclavian branch now let's talk about second part system of vena cavae that we called as post caval i told you there is there is present post caval also so this larger one the black one shown in the center it is post caval or posterior vena cava it is single large and thick vessel that starts from heart and see it comes down between the kidney okay and finally it is getting blood from various body parts just see this post caval when it comes to liver 
it is receiving blood from liver through veins called hepatic veins so hepatic veins are collecting blood from liver and pour it into post cable as it come downward near testis region near gonads region so to reproductive organ or to gonads it supply genital branch so genital branch is collecting blood from gonads and give it to post cable and from the kidney blood is collected by five to six pairs of vessels called renal vessels okay so post cable is getting blood from liver through hepatic vein through reproductive organs by genital or gonadal veins and from kidney by renal veins got it so two pre cavel and one post cavel they make up three vena cavae in the frog body now this diagram also shows you hepatic portal system and renal portal system now what is that let me tell you a portal vein is a vein which carries blood from one organ to another instead of supplying it to heart okay it carries blood from one organ to another and as the name indicate hepatic portal vein it is collecting blood from various parts of elementary canal and supply it to liver frog also carry a renal portal vein i encircled in the that red square you can see renal portal vein renal word come for kidney so this portal vein is collecting blood from posterior body part and supply it to kidney so there are two portal system present in frog's body hepatic portal system and renal portal system renal portal system is made up of renal portal vein and its branches and hepatic portal system is made up of two veins further you can see one is hepatic portal vein and other is anterior abdominal vein okay now you see first of all hepatic portal vein just see hepatic portal vein is collecting blood from various parts of elementary canal from stomach blood is collected by gastric vein from esophagus by esophageal then there is duodeno pancreatic vein as the name indicate duodeno duodeno pancreatic collecting blood from duodenum and pancreas then from ileum it is collected by intestinal branch splenic branch collected from spleen and posterior mesenteric branch collected from rectum so entire deoxygenated blood collected from elementary canal remember in your mind this blood is deoxygenated but rich in nutrients okay it contain glucose amino acids so hepatic portal vein collects that deoxygenated blood nutrient rich blood from various parts of elementary canal and then it goes to liver but before it goes to liver it also receive another vein called anterior abdominal vein just see anterior abdominal vein is coming from the hinder region of frog anterior abdominal vein it receive two pelvic veins which is a branch of femoral vein of hind limb okay so two pelvic veins from each side again i am telling you pelvic vein is a branch of femoral vein that supply to thigh region okay so two pelvic veins they run inward and they join together to form anterior abdominal vein and this anterior abdominal vein just see receiving two branches one vesicular other epigastric vesicular vein is collecting blood from bladder urinary bladder and epigastric from ventral abdominal muscle okay so anterior abdominal vein collecting blood from the posterior body part through vesicular and epigastric vein and also through pelvic vein and then come upward here it join with hepatic portal vein and both then opens into liver okay so let me tell you these two veins hepatic portal vein and anterior abdominal vein they together make up hepatic portal system now the question arises why this blood is carried to liver i told you portal vein carries blood from one organ to another that is from elementary canal and see from the posterior parts it is brought to liver why is it so because you know most of blood from stomach and intestine it contain digested food and rich in glucose and amino acid so those extra nutrients that is glucose and amino acid they are sent to liver what liver will do it will convert glucose into glycogen and store it in as reserve food and excess amino acids are deaminated by liver to form urea 
तो दिस इज सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ हिपैटिक पोर्टल सिस्टम इट सप्लाई डी ऑक्सीजनेटेड बट न्यूट्रिय रिच ब्लड टू लिवर एंड लिवर एसिमिलेट द न्यूट्रियस बाई कन्वर्टिंग एक्सेसिव ग्लूकोज इन टू ग्लाइकोजन एंड बाई कन्वर्टिंग एक्सेसिव अमीनो एसिड्स इन टू यूरिया बाई डी एमिनेशन एक्टिविटी गॉट इट सो दिस इज फर्स्ट वन हिपैटिक पोर्टल सिस्टम Now see second one renal portal system. I told you it is made up of renal portal vein and its branches. And see this system is made up of two veins, basically from hind limbs. Okay, there is one sciatic vein, other is femoral vein. Sciatic vein collects blood from shank and foot region of frog. Okay, but femoral vein it collects blood from thigh region of hind limb. okay and just you see i told you this femoral vein it will divides into two branches inner pelvic and outer renal portal vein but pelvic vein further join to form anterior abdominal so when femoral vein join it form pelvic vein which join from each side from anterior abdominal but renal portal vein it receive blood from sciatic vein and then run forward towards the outer margin of kidney just you see renal portal vein going up on the sides of kidney and then receive one more branch dorso lumbar branch dorso lumbar branch as the name indicate it's a vein that collects blood from dorsal abdominal muscle and now the renal portal vein enter into kidney break up into capillaries and supply blood to kidney or nephron got it so renal portal vein consist of renal portal system sorry consist of sciatic vein and femoral vein sciatic vein collects blood from shank region foot region femoral vein collect blood from hind limb it will divide to form a pelvic and renal portal vein pelvic veins from both side the join and form anterior abdominal by receiving epigastric and vesicular vein while renal portal vein goes upward receiving another branch dorsal lumbar vein and open into kidney now why this system exist in frog again renal portal system carries blood from posterior body parts to kidney that is why named so and you know purpose of this system is to carry impure blood which contain excessive salt and waste in it from posterior part to kidney what kidney will do kidneys have nephrons so nephrons they remove excess of salt and waste from the blood and this is how less impure blood is supplied to heart got it so two portal system together makes up portal systems of frog hepatic portal system made up of hepatic portal vein and anterior abdominal vein and renal portal system made receiving blood from that sciatic vein and renal portal vein and carries it to kidneys got it now there is pulmonary system also that you know pulmonary system made up of pulmonary veins and these pulmonary veins they are bringing blood from lungs only okay let me tell you both the pulmonary veins they carries oxygenated blood from lungs to left auricle of heart and they are the open by a common pulmonary vein and pour their entire oxygenated blood in left auricle so three systems vena cavae portal systems and the system of pulmonary system pulmonary veins together makes up vena system of heart so that's all in today's lecture again do subscribe my channel biology paradigm like and share my videos and keep learning keep